Yeah. So banana sushi. Yeah, yes. I learned this last year in Wellington. Um, the captain last year, Stephen Keller, who's captain now for British FC, um, he taught, taught me that. I got some good banana. I'll take this one. It's a bit better. Called peanut butter sushi. It's yeah. a good afternoon snack. Okay. First, just put one. Get rid of all this stuff. It's a good late night snack as well. Yeah, yeah. First, you have to get rid of this. Unfortunately, I ran out of peanut butter, so I had to ask the hotel for some peanut butter. Get it in. Just need a fork. Can you give me a fork, please? Makes it easier. Yeah. All right. I've got some maple syrup on top to chop it up to make it a bit sweeter. A little bit more peanut butter. So. I just had breakfast, so unfortunately you have to eat it because I'm not hungry at all. So I'll try to make it nice for you. I'm gonna use my hands, so I just do it like this. Usually you eat two bananas with some peanut butter, but I just like to make it one. I know if you have breakfast already, yeah. but I'll just make it for you. And then just to top it up, that's enough peanut butter. There's some world class. Maple syrup to top it up. I think that's enough. And then you cut it in pieces. Of course, with the best bananas from Goa, with some local bananas. It's very good. And if you want, if you like, you can put some, some more maple syrup on top if you want. I think I put some more for you. I like you. So Deva, that's for you. I hope you like it. It's the best banana sushi in town. Are you happy with that, Deva? Yeah. You good? You happy now? I'm not gonna eat this, so you have to. I'm very yeah, we, yeah. we are gonna eat this. Yeah, okay. let's try it out. Yeah. It's, good. it's a good afternoon snack. Are you are you now? What will you what will you we call you? Full time? Banana sushi maker? Yeah, probably. Because there's no training today, but even more banana sushi, so half time banana sushi maker, half time <laughs> football player. But it, obviously, we saw you with banana sushi, and that's something we haven't seen. I mean, we haven't had banana sushi, we really didn't know what is banana sushi. If you yeah. throw some light on how did you pick up this, how did you learn how to make banana sushi, and the story behind it? <laughs> yeah, it's not a big story as you think it is. Um, I haven't known it before I went to Wellington last year and it was pretty common in Wellington, um, lots of players did it. Um, after dinner or after lunch, just a little snack, have some good bananas, some good peanut butter, some good quality peanut butter and like if you top it up with some maple syrup it's even better. But yeah, it's so, like, just a good snack after lunch or after dinner to eat something. What are the ingredients required to make it? Oh yeah, as I said, just bananas and the peanut butter is the basic. If you pop on the top it up, it's maple syrup or if you like honey, but I think maple syrup is good tasty. How so, popular has that dish become around here among your teammates? Ah, um, not that popular as you think. It's just, I don't know, Wellington players did it last year. I've learned it from Stephen Taylor, who is now at Alicia. And yeah, I think he's still doing it and I'm still doing it as well. So because I like it. So Stephen Taylor will watch this video and they connect. Um, yeah, I think you'll know what, what, what it is. <clears throat> Mati will do a quick rapid fire with you. Yeah, that's right. There are two rounds, short two rounds. Right. Talking or texting? Um, texting. Favorite day of the week? Um, Friday. Nickname your parents used to call you? Uh, I don't know, Mati, it's just Mati, no nickname. The song which you hear on a loop? Uh, probably Let It Go from Jack's Bay. It's called Never Will Up, you know that. Would you rather be able to speak every language in the world or be able to talk to animals? Ah, uh, that's a good one. Um, maybe talk to animals, that would be fun. Favorite holiday destination? Um, Goa. Haven't been, but probably. Do you have any match day rituals? Mm, 
actually no, just like good pre-match meal. Depends on the on the time of the, the day we play, but no, no. Invisibility or super strength? Um, super strength. On a scale of one to ten, how good are you at keeping secrets? Um, oh, sorry, uh, eight. Like ten is good, so I say eight. First celebrity crush. Ah. Uh, Oh, you have me there? I don't know, maybe, but oh, when I was young, I don't know, Britney Spears? Dawn or Dusk? Um, dawn. If you could travel back in time, what period would you go? Oh, that's good, that's good. Interesting. Um, maybe like two, three thousand years ago? That'd be fun. Like, just for a day to see how it is. Compared to the days. What's your favorite junk food? Junk food? I love pizza. That's the best. Favorite TV show? Um, series? Um, I like Dexter. Cake or pie? Um, cake. Can you say a word in Indian? Or are you even better in Bengali? I'm not Bengali. Can Shukariya in Hindi or Kesaro? That's awesome. Mitoko? Karme? Karme? Is it karma? It's hot? Karma? Yes, yes. So, Garmi. 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 Then Takea. Tora Takea. Like after a game. Tora Takea. Like Tora, a little tired. Tora, Tora, Tora Takea. Tora Takea. Yeah, yeah. Tora Takea. We are doing great. Yeah. That's the basic I, I picked up on the bus rides to training. If I ask you to mimic any of your teammates, can you do that? It's probably Aaron Holloway when he's like getting fouled by a teammate. Like, He's looking at his ankle, like, I think that some teammates will relate. Who is, it, who is the one on your teammates that annoys you the most? Annoys you the most? Mm. Look at that, let me think about it like, just quickly. Mm. It's probably Aaron Holloway because he's blaming me when he's losing cards all the time. He's blaming me for that he's losing, so it's probably him. Who is the funniest? The funniest? I think it's Foxy. He's the right. banter, so he's always funny. Finally, what's the funniest the gaffer has ever said to you? Um, I think after the first training, when I've made some mistakes in training, he thought like um, I was out last night, but apparently, like obviously, we can't leave the hotel, so like yeah, not serious business. Serious business. We have been brilliant in the four game phase. We have not had the result we wanted in the first three. We were really really the problem for the team the last game. Uh, we take on Hyderabad next. What are your thoughts? Yeah, obviously it wasn't the start we all wanted to, to have in the season, so the, the results weren't that good. Um, so we still haven't scored a goal, so that's the, the main goal for for the next game, just to, to score goals and to win games, finally. How would you assess our performance in the last game? We were down to 10 minutes for maybe three quarters of the game, but we came up with a point. Yeah, as you said, it was a very tough game, um, especially after the red card, playing um, one man down for 70 minutes. So it was a tough shift for every one of us. But I think, um, I said it after the game as well, that um, I like the, the spirit of the team and the work we did um, throughout the game. So yeah, unfortunately we didn't score, but I think the spirit within the team was, was quite good.